Hello, Miss Dangerfield here. This is the book we would have been reading this term had we been all in school together. So I thought I'd make a video of me reading it to you instead for you to enjoy. And it's called Beyond the Fence and it's by a lady called Maria Gulamatova. And it's a lovely book, Beyond the Fence. And inside we can see where the story is set. And it's a massive mansion house. And it's in the middle of nowhere. It's quite isolated. And this is Piggy. He's the main character in the story. And I think it's a boy. Thomas talked a lot and Piggy had to listen. Thomas talked, Piggy listened. Thomas knew what suited Piggy. He always knew what they should play. What do you think about these pictures? Are they playing together? Is Piggy having much choice in what's going on in the story? He always knew what games they should play. He just knew. And you can see here, Thomas is on one side of the page and very far away there's Piggy and the author has deliberately drawn this like this with Piggy far away. Why do you think she did that? One day Thomas's cousin came to visit. Is Piggy being included? What do you think Piggy's going to do now? Piggy took a walk and in the distance you can just see there's a wild animal out there. What do you think is going to happen? Nice to meet you, said Wild Pig. Why have you wrapped yourself up? Oh, do you mean these, said Piggy. They're called clothes. Don't they get in the way? Do they get tangled when you run through the bushes? No, I never run. Oh, but running's fun. You should try it. We can run together. I'd love to, but I have to go home now. Please, will you come again? I will. This picture's got no words. Why do you think it's been drawn in dark colours? Can you see any toys? It's Piggy's room, I think. What do you think Piggy might be looking out for? Piggy kept going to the place where he had met Wild Pig. But he was never there. And again, you can see from these pictures, Piggy's all alone in a big space. A little Piggy in a big page. Why do you think that is? Then one evening, and again, look at Piggy's body language. How's Piggy feeling? Aha, uh -huh. I'm sorry I didn't come sooner, said Wild Pig. I fell in a trap and it took a few days to get out. Shall we run in the forest? I'd love to, but I'm not allowed to go beyond the fence. Really? Well then, I'll come back for another chat. Tomorrow at sunset. That would be lovely. The next day, Thomas's cousin left. And you can see how isolated and alone that house is. It's in the middle of nowhere. What are you making? A forest. Well, that's silly. Come on, you can watch my puppet show. Now, is Piggy enjoying that puppet show? At sunset, Piggy had to listen to a story. Maybe Wild Pig would come again tomorrow. And there's Piggy asleep in his little room, rather wide awake. The next day at sunset, um, 
please excuse me for a moment? Oh my goodness, what is Piggy doing? And there's the table, set for tea, nobody sitting at it. Where is that silly pig? But Piggy was already beyond the fence. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. And I hope that one day we will all again be allowed out beyond the fence. Take care and stay well. Bye-bye.